100 Days Gratitude, day 84, and today I am grateful for the spices of life. Can you imagine life without spice? It was a number of years ago I had to chuckle myself uh, as much as I was like all for it. The idea of the 100 mile diet, you know, there was a couple documentaries, there was a lot of people really excited about, you know, doing this idea of the 100 mile diet. But I was like, really? You're gonna go through life without spices? I mean, how many of them do you think actually gave up, you know, cinnamon and coffee? Uh, and I think, you know, spices, it's something that's inherent uh, to humans. You know, the idea of trading, you know, having something from afar, the exotic, uh, I'm all about the 80-20, you know, in that regard. Like, I think 80% of our calories, especially our fresh foods, uh, our meat, our milk, our veggies, fruit if we can, even too, you know, should come from uh, our local environment. And uh, then that 20%, you know, is going to be what I like to call the exotics and the erotics, you know, the, the spices of life. Uh, that which bring the heat, the flavor, and uh, the healing, the medicine, uh, and spices have been traded for the longest of time. And uh, many of them at times have been, you know, worth their weight, far exceeding the value of gold. Isn't it curious that uh, some of the greatest spices, that they're now all names begin with C? Cayenne, cumin, cardamom, coriander, the list goes on. These are, those are some of my favorites anyways. And uh, yeah, I could not imagine a life without spice and all that it brings. Like I say, the flavor, but also the medicinal qualities, the medicinal actions and uh, yeah, some of those spices are most commonly used ones, you know, like capsicum, cayenne, the peppers, so many cuisines we think of that, uh, you know, are the, the, the peppers are so foundational to the cuisine, but the once upon a time, you know, they didn't have them. Their uh, origins of the peppers is uh, kind of Central South America and, uh, you know, even Italian, Vietnamese, Indian, a lot of the Asian cuisines uh, didn't have it. And yet now, you know, synonymous with, and I suppose maybe the, the Japanese cuisine is, is an example of that, though they use some of that. You know, they had things like the horseradish, the wasabi, you know, to bring that, that heat in. Anyways, reflecting on the wonders deliciousness the amazingness of spice and uh, so grateful that we have that in our life we have access to some of the best spices highest quality in abundance as well and uh, definitely was not always that way right these things had to come from far far away and, and many times still do and uh, but definitely at a much greater cost and uh, definitely lower quantity and possibly even lower quality we live in a time of absolute incredible abundance and uh yeah so interesting i have to think about this fact that uh you know the achievement of black pepper as an example to you know to be that one spice that has made its place at the table with salt right salt and pepper could have been anything uh grains of paradise would be a very, uh, you know, suitable candidate in that regard. Of course, I mentioned uh, cayenne, chili peppers, that type of thing have really done a great job. But uh, yeah, black pepper, what a wonder. What is your favorite spice? Let me know down below. I know it's hard for me to choose. Black pepper's up there for sure, just kind of a daily. I uh, love cardamom, absolutely love cardamom. Of course, cinnamon, cumin. Oh my gosh, I'm back on all the seas again. Anyways, 100 Days of Gratitude, day 84, the spices of life.